In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Homebrew channel on your Wii U in Wii mode or on your regular Wii. Now, for this, you will need an SD card, like a 2 gigabytes or less SD card. And then you'll also need uh, Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures for the Wii. Now, there are other Wii games that you can use to run exploits, which I'll explain more later. So. Let's get started. First, you can follow the link in the video description to weubrew.org. And here it says that currently we have not been successful in running Homebrew on the Nintendo Wii U. But running code in Wii mode is possible. So basically, since the Wii U is backwards compatible with the Wii in Wii mode, it's also backwards compatible with some of the Wii hacks and Wii homebrew apps. So you can just click Wii mode. And then under uh, working exploits is kind of a list of Wii games and the corresponding exploits that are compatible with the Wii U. So if you have a Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you can use Smash Stack. If you have Lego Batman, you can use Bat Hacks. If you have Lego Indiana Jones, then you can use Indiana Pones. If you have Lego Star Wars, then you can use Return of the Jedi. Then if you have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, 5D's Willy Breakers, then you can use Yu-Gi-Oh! owned or Yu-Gi-Va, depending on your region. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have uh, Lego Indiana Jones, so I'll just click uh, Indiana Pones. And then on the right side, you can just click Download, and it will download a small zip file. You'll want to follow the next link in the video description to bootme.org. You'll want to download the Hack Me installers. Just click that, and it will download another zip file. And you'll want to follow the next link in the video description to webrew.org. And on the left side, you can click Applications. Now, this is a list of homebrew apps and emulators and games and stuff that you can run on your Wii U or we in the homebrew channel so and what I'd recommend that you download is under utilities I'd recommend that you download the homebrew browser now, this is sort of an app store that you can install under your Wii or Wii U and you can download the apps and emulators and games directly onto your Wii or Wii U without having to download them on the computer or, or transfer them onto the SD card or anything like that. So you just click download on the right side. It'll download another zip file. And once it's finished downloading, you can go to the desktop or wherever you downloaded everything. You right click and extract using WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Now, be sure to extract all of them. Then, once you've extracted everything, you can insert the SD card into your computer or memory card reader. Go to my computer. Then right click your SD card and go down to format. Then be sure to back up anything important before you format your SD card. Then under file system, be sure to set that to FAT32. Then click start. Okay. And once it's finished, click OK, and close. 
then open your SD card. Then next you want to open the Indiana Pones folder. Then copy uh, everything to the SD card, especially the private folder. Next you want to open the Hack Me Installer folder. You can copy everything on your SD card. Especially the boot.elf and the Wii loads and the licenses and readme files and all that. And then next you want to open the homebrew browser uh, folder. You want to create an apps folder on your SD card. So you can right click, go to new and folder. Now this is case sensitive, so there are no capital letters, all lowercase. It's just apps, A P P S. And if you type anything else, this will not work. So you should open the apps folder that you just created on the SD card. And then copy everything from the homebrew browser folder onto your into the apps folder. Just drag and drop. Alright. I believe that's everything. So you can remove the SD card from your computer. And then insert the SD card into your Wii U or Wii. to Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, and Wii. Then go to the SD card. And then select the Indiana Pones for your region. Then copy it to your system memory. Once it's finished, and go back to the main menu. And then start uh, Lego Indiana Jones. Load the save data you copied earlier. When the game loads, you'll be at Barnett College. Approach the left character on the podium, uh, the one with the bazooka. And then choose the switch to option. It's the two silhouettes and the staggered arrow. And it should load. Read the scam warning and then press 1. And install the homebrew channel. And then install boot me. And 
return to the main menu and then exit. Right, and then here it is. This is the homebrew channel. And press the home button and then go down and exit to system menu. Right, and here's the Wii system menu. And there's the homebrew channel. And this is the homebrew browser app. Just load it. It'll take a second to connect to the internet and check for updates and everything. Alright, so here it is, the homebrew browser. Uh, don't forget to like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Thank you for watching.